Unit Two. Jasmine's loose tooth. Let us see how Jasmine's mother deals with her problem of not going to school on Monday morning after the weekend. It was early Monday morning, and Jasmine was miserable. She was always miserable on Monday mornings. After Sundays, Mondays meant one more week of slow torture in school. Going to school on Monday after Sunday felt like going into slavery after tasting freedom. It was just too much. Jasmine started planning. She wished that she was sick. Her mother had once kept her away from school when she was sick. So the investigation started. Jasmine slowly started searching her body for an illness. She discovered symptoms of cold and cough. She tried to encourage the cough by slowly coughing. Alas, nothing came out of it, and slowly the coughing died. But Jasmine was not willing to let go so easily. Investigations began again. To her delight, she found one of her teeth coming loose. She was just about to start groaning when she realized something. Last year, one of her sister's teeth was loose. Her mother had simply pulled the culprit out. She realized that this would not work. So Jasmine decided to keep her loose teeth back. For emergencies like class tests or assignments, she kept on searching, but no other illness presented itself. Then she remembered hearing the doctor talk about a sickness that laid the patient out for a couple of weeks and further threatened to make him lose a body part. Yesterday, while playing, she had hit her toe on the stone. And there was a swelling. She started examining her toe, and her mind started forming an idea. Jasmine was not aware about the symptoms of this illness, but she was an expert actress. She was willing to take the risk. So she examined her sleeping sister and started groaning slowly. Jasmine's groaning was drowned. Under her sister's snoring, slowly Jasmine started imagining real pain in her toe, and she increased the volume and intensity of her groaning. But her sister slept on unconscious. This was not working. There was no result from her sister. Jasmine was getting tired. Groaning was hard work, and she had nothing to show for results. She took a rest and then swelled herself up, and fetched a succession of admirable groans. Her sister kept on snoring. In the end, Jasmine lost her patience. She said, "Ruby, Ruby," and shook her head. This produced results, and Jasmine started her groans again. Ruby woke up slowly. She yawned. And stretched herself. She started staring at Jasmine. Jasmine went on groaning. Ruby said, "Jazz, Jazz, are you okay?" There was no response. Jazz, what is wrong with you? Ruby helpfully shook Jasmine. Jasmine moaned out, "Please stop! Do not shake me." What is wrong, Jazz? I will call Ma. Said Ruby, "No, do not disturb her. It is nothing. It is okay now. Do not call anyone. But I must. Please do not groan so, Jazz. It is painful to listen. How long have you been in pain?" Here, Ruby once again tried to examine Jasmine. Hours and hours, Ruby. Stop. Do not touch me. You will kill me. You should have woken me up sooner. Please stop, Jazz. What is wrong? Are you hurt? 
I forgive you for everything, Ruby. I forgive you for hurting me. Please take care of my things when I am gone. Always remember your little sister. You are not done, Jazz, are you? I forgive everyone. Please tell them in the end, I forgave everyone. Give my marbles to Ruchi. Give my tennis shoes to Ajay. Ruby was nowhere to be seen. She had left to bring mother. Jasmine was really suffering now. Her imagination was excellent and she could actually feel the pain in her toe. And her groans were becoming more and more real. Ruby ran downstairs and said, Ma, Ma, come quickly. Jasmine is going to die. Die? Her mother replied, Stop being foolish. But Ma, she is dying. Come quickly. Oh, stop this nonsense. But she started running up the stairs towards Ruby and Jasmine's bedroom. On hearing Jasmine's groaning, her face became white. On reaching the bedside, she said, Jazz, what is wrong with you? What is the matter? Ma, I am dying. What is the matter with you, Jazz? Ma, my sore toe has become gangrened. Her mother started laughing and crying at the same time. Regaining control, she said, Jazz, you scared me. You deserve a scolding. Stop this nonsense and get up. The groaning stopped and pain vanished. Jasmine felt foolish. But Ma, my toe felt gangrened. It was in so much pain that I did not even feel the pain in my tooth. Your tooth? What is wrong with it? One of them is loose. It is hurting. Do not start your acting. Open your mouth and show me. Well, your tooth is loose, but you will not die because of it. Ruby, go down in the kitchen and get me a piece of thread and my stick. Please, Ma, do not pull out my tooth. There is no pain in my tooth. I do not even want to stay home from school. I will not make any more excuses. So, all of this was because you did not want to go to school. Ruby returned with the thread and the stick. Jasmine's mother tied one end of the thread fast to Jasmine's tooth with a loop and tied the other to the bedpost. Then, she took the stick and suddenly brought it near Jasmine's head. The tooth was left dangling by the bedpost. Words and Meanings <laughs>